Hey there, it's Kate Chulo from Tortoise Shades. This is my leopard tortoise, Tina. I got her as an anniversary present when she was a hatchling, about six months of age. Uh, she's now four years old. Um, she got the name from Napoleon Dynamite, the alpaca that he had was named Tina. And, you know, when she's in her hide, I coax her out with food. And I told her, Tina, come get your food, you fat cow. So that's where that came from. Uh, Tina's a smaller of the two species of leopard tortoises. You have Pardilus bobcocki and the giant South African leopard tortoise, which is the fourth largest tortoise in the world. Tina is Pardilus bobcocki, the smaller of the two. Um, leopard tortoises aren't easy to care for. They require a lot of involvement from the owner. Their lighting and temperature um, must be adequate at all times. Um, their humidity and diet are crucial for their well-being, and you really need to stay on top of things especially with a hatchling, which can develop respiratory issues if they aren't proper, uh, which is more delicate at that age too. So if you are looking for a, a pet that you can feed once in a while, uh, a leopard tortoise is not for you. You can search the web and obtain more detailed information about the leopard tortoises. Um, I'm here to address information that, you, that I had a hard time finding online. Um, about whether they brumate. Most information I've researched claims that they do not brumate or hibernate, but I have an issue with my tortoise, uh, especially since I live in Ohio, where the winters are colder than out west. During the summer, I keep her outside as long as the temperature does not fall below 60 degrees at night, in which case I bring her inside. But in the winter, obviously, she must be kept inside. I've been noticing every winter that she will sleep more and more and eat less and less. Uh, when she was smaller, it wasn't an issue, but every year it's become more and more frequent, even to the point where she loses weight. Basically, if I let her stay in her hide, uh, she'll stay there for weeks or more without coming out. I must wake her at least twice a week and give her a soaking and then let her eat. Um, I do this to clear her bowels and so that she stays hydrated and healthy. Now, I don't have any facts to back this up, uh, but I think brumation period might be normal for people that have leopard tortoise, tortoises where the winters are colder and not freak out when this happens to you. So um, they may eat less or even lose a bit of weight. Just check on, check on them if this occurs and supplement calcium and maintain proper temps and diet for your tortoise to fare well. As you can see, Tina is quite alert and healthy. Um, so if you think of owning a leopard tortoise, uh, be aware um, of the possibilities of these things happening. So again, this is uh, Kate Chulo from Tortoise Shades. Uh, I specialize in hides and enclosures for tortoises of all sizes and reptiles. Uh, you can find me on Etsy at tortoiseshades at gmail.com.